Um, you guys wanted it. So, uh, here is my review of season one of... Alright, well, let me just start off. The, the, the first episode... I thought it was kind of mid, like, you know, it, it wasn't, like, 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 I felt that it was kind of slow and stuff, which is fine. First episodes are very hard. I understand that. But, 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 I'll give the first episode this. It had two amazing moments, two amazing scenes, in my opinion. The first scene is, in, is built up the entire episode. Mark, from the very first scene, we see that he wants the powers that Omni-Man has, but he doesn't have them, and he feels weird about it because he's his son. But then, when he finally is able to fly, it's amazing, and it shows him messing up. It shows him almost crash into a plane, and it, it's it's realistic. I love that scene. Now, the second scene, it's a little brutal. Um, you know, because the second scene, well, yeah, just, just, just watch. Yeah. I, uh, you know, the, 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 the ending of the first episode had me hooked. I was like, okay, I gotta watch the next episode. So, episode two, you know, it opens with Omni-Man at the hospital. Mark and Debbie go to check in on him. You know, it's like, he'll probably be fine. But, uh, you know, we need someone to protect the city for now. So, you know, Mark, you gotta do that. So, Mark, so Mark you know, uh, he... He suits up as Invincible. The second episode really highlights what it's like to be... It really gives you the, the, the theme of, you know, of what it's like to be, a, you know, a 17-year-old kid with, you know, a, a good heart who has superpowers, all right? That's what I love about Invincible. Invincible is... I go as far to say Invincible is one of the one of the best, if not the best, uh, you know, comic book television adaptions. That's, I, it's amazing. It's amazing. And then, you know, uh, then in episode two, you know, some stuff happens. Mark, uh, meets, uh, you know, Adam Eve with, uh, you know, a, a bit of luck, but, 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 but it's okay, it's okay, because cause then he meets Adam Eve, and then um, she, she takes him back to the teen team headquarters, and, well, she fucking makes out with Rex, which I, I, I was not happy about, I was not happy about, because um, I, I, ha I hadn't read the books yet, I, I hadn't even heard of The Invincible, like, I didn't even know Invincible was a comic book, and when I was watching the episode, I was like, oh my god, Mark and Eve are totally going to be a thing. But then she fucking kick kisses this Rex Splode guy. And I was like, what the hell? So, you know, that that that, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But, 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 but it was okay. It was fine. It was fine. Um, and then, uh, I don't really remember much about episode two. The only thing I remember is the... Oh, that's right. In episode two, um, uh... They, uh, fight those, uh, those aliens that try to invade, and, and, can I just say, Rex is, like, Rex is, like, the audience, because, like, in episode two, they try to, f they, like, fight those aliens, and then, um, you know, <laughs> later in the episode, or maybe it's episode three, but, anyway, l l later in the episode, or a little later on, and they come back, and, uh, you know, uh, uh whatchamacallit, robots are like, uh, they have, prepared, they've prepared for the invasion, and Rex is like, in three days? <laughs> Listen, you can say whatever you want about Rex, I know he's, he's an asshole, but dude, dude brings the much-needed comedy to the show, okay? It's, 
um, you know, because I, I thought that was, uh, kind of, like, a nice little thing that they threw in there. Uh, then, then in episode three, they have the actual funeral for the Guardians of the Globe, and, uh, you know, Cecil brings in Damien Darkblood, that, that demon detective, which I thought that was just awesome. And then, you know, uh, Damien Darkblood gets, like, suspicious that Omni Man killed the Guardians, so then it's like, what the hell is, uh, is Damien Darkblood gonna be, like, the hero in all this? But then, you know, later on, as he continues investigating it, Cecil tells him to cool it and, you know, back down, but, but Damien Darkblood doesn't do it. He's, he's determined to prove that Omni Man is guilty. And uh, then there's that really amazing scene, which I, I love. I feel it perfectly embodies the tone of Invincible. It perfectly embodies it, you know, where uh, Damien Darkblood is, uh, you know, trying to prove to Cecil. And then Cecil, you know, puts him in that little circle thing and it's about to send him back to hell. Damien Darkblood's like, why? He's, he's evil. And Cecil's like, yeah, that's the problem. You demons, you see things in black and white. And I need to keep things gray for a little bit. Then he sends him back. That, I, that's a perfect scene. Invincible is not really black and white. It, it's, it's gray, okay? The best shows and the best characters are the morally gray ones, okay? So, yeah, just no, no, no argument. I will not be argued with there. Um... And then, uh, and then later on, uh, and also Mark is completely struggling with the fact that the Guardians were killed, and he, he's just struggling, and he can't quite really, you know, focus, and then Only Man starts acting really weird about it, because uh, you know, Debbie's like, Mark, why don't you go hang out with William? And Mark's like, and what, buy comic books after this? And Omni Man's like, watch the tone. And he's like, that's not okay. And it's like, what? What, what do you mean? I, f I feel that's perfectly okay for the situation he's going through right now. And Omni Man's like, you gotta keep that separate. But it's like, why? He, he's he, he's grieving. Isn't, isn't that what he's supposed to do in a situation like this? Like, it, you know, um, and so then uh, in episode uh, the f f four or whatever, you know, Mark finally gets to uh, c kind of be happy for a little bit. Uh, you know, if he finally gets uh, finally gets serious with Amber, and uh, um, I have some things I want to say about Amber, but but I'll wait for a little later on. Um, and he, uh, you know, him and Amber, they go to check out that college or whatever. Um, you know, it's, it's great. And then William pieces together, the, well, William figures out that Mark's invincible. And it's like, holy shit, that's amazing. That's amazing. That That's like, holy crap, that's great. And then, uh, you know, oh, not to mention, in episode four, I think, is when Eve catches Rex with duplicates, <laughs> which, um, I mean, obviously Rex has the brain. Come on now. Duplicate, y you can have three of her. Come on now. Like, what, 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 what sane person would not want that? You know? Um... So, yeah, I, I was really happy when uh, Rex and Eve broke up. Um, I was like, uh, the, you know, that, that that's great. Now um, M Mark can finally lock things down with Eve. But then, uh, you know, the he, he, he's with Amber. So it's like, oh, oh okay, that's... Uh, uh, fuck. Um, you know. But it's okay. It's okay. Because Mark and Eve are endgame. They're endgame in the, the, the comic, and they'll be endgame in the show. Um. But. And then, uh. 
you know, more stuff happens. Mark and Amber break up, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> then, you know, the, the, the reasoning for why Omni Man, you know, killed the Guardians of the Globe becomes more clear as you, as the mystery gets unraveled. Especially when Debbie goes and talks to, um, Omni Man's costume, dude, or whatever. And, uh, you know, he looks at Omni Man's old suit. And you find out, you know, the, the, they figure out that Omni Man killed the Guardians. And it's like, holy crap. Holy crap. De Debbie's figured it out. Then, you know, it gets, it's starting to get even crazier. And then, you know, <clears throat> Debbie's like, uh, she talks to Nolan about it. And, 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 and Nolan's like, you're drunk. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Debbie's like, fuck you, Nolan. Then, you know, he gets out. Then, literally, the next episode, shit goes down. You get freaking, uh, you know, Adam Eve is, you know, trying to change the world. You know, she, she's trying to make a difference. Uh, she, she's sick of her parents treating her like crap. Um, Mark is basically done being invincible. William's like, quit being a little bitch, get over it. And then, you know, Omni Man comes and tracks down William and he's like, Where's Mark? And William's all like, uh, he he's with Eve and then, you know, Omni Man goes and finds Mark, but then he then they get attacked by this octopus squid type thing and oh my god it's insanity and then freaking um you know uh, C cecil's like eve don't engage just leave let them fight it by themselves and then you know she she does so and then she leaves mark alone with omni man and then omni man's all like uh yeah so listen kid uh you know uh i am from viltrum but it, you know it's like uh you know because then after he kills a mortal omni man's like you listen kid um i gotta explain some things all right i'm from viltrum but you know we had to uh, get rid of the weak in our society so you know we, we we had to kill people and you know take over planets and you know i i, I was sent to take over this one and you know I, I need your help and mark's all like uh what and then you know uh, he's like humans oh man it's like humans lives are worthless they're so fragile and mark's like is mom's wife life worthless and oh man's like um yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? So then, you know, Mark's all like... <laughs> but, you know, obviously that doesn't go well, because then, you know... Well... Just... absolutely destroy him he's making mark look like a little bitch during this fight and then it's like oh my god mark's gonna die it's especially then when you know iron man's all like this i can always start again make another kid <laughs> But then, this amaze, these amazing lines of dialogue come out, and it just made me fall in love with this show even more. Think, Mark! You'll outlast every fragile, insignificant being on this planet. you live to see this world crumble to dust and blow away! Everyone and everything you know will be gone! Will you have after five hundred years? Oh, you I still have you. Brilliant, the writing, the acting, the the, the the animation, everything about it is brilliant. 
My overall review for this show is just, it's perfect. It's perfect. We don't see superhero projects like this anymore. We, we don't see any other superhero projects like this, okay? This, this is, other than maybe the boys, but this is special. Invincible is, it's beautiful. It's art. It. Uh, um. Oh, before I wrap this up, let me just say something. Um. I know season two is out, but I have not seen it yet. So, I'm going to give things that I would like to see in season two, right here, right now. So just buckle in, cause cause it's it's it's, it's, it's kind of a long list. Okay. All right. First things first. We gotta have the rematch, all right? You know, you know, Invincible versus Omni Man. All right, man. Maybe this time Mark can bring along like you know Adam Eve or, or Rex or you know maybe just all the Guardians, all the members of Teen Team, and just like uh, you know, have them, you know, just just. Just, just do that, and uh, you know, ha have Mark win this time, and uh, th so, so then you know that that uh, thing in season one uh, won't be there anymore. Um, n n number two, um, <coughs> just um, uh, have Mark um j drop some of that dead weight, you know, Amber, um, and and have him get with the real deal. Because, um, no one wants to see this, or this, everyone wants to see this, so, yeah, um, and Mark especially needs to dump, dump Amber, especially after this bitch knew he was invincible, and was like, Mark, how dare you be saving lives over spending time with me, what a Bitch! Not to mention, he got her on Mars Rock. You know how many bitches he could have got on Mars Rock? And she's the only fucking one that has a Mars Rock? <sighs> Just saying, Eve would be, like, way more appreciative. So, yeah. Those are the things I want in Season 2. Mark vs. Iron Man rematch, and, uh... I want Mark to drop that dead weight and get with Eve. Because, yeah. So, just... But, uh, yeah, this was my review of... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, I guess I'll see you guys when I see you guys. See ya.